guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, New Breeders. My name is Kiran and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. Now, I have been a huge fan of Paula Hawkins after reading the books The Girl on the Train and Into the Water. I absolutely loved both of them and this book was one of the most anticipated books of 2021 for me because I knew I will absolutely love this book. But after completing it, I can definitely say that I am a little disappointed and this review is going to be a non-spoiler one because I don't want to spoil your experience reading this book. So worry not and keep watching this video. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So let's start with the plot of A Slow Fire Burning. So basically it is the story of a murder and how a guy named Daniel was murdered and the how the investigation went and how he was related to these three main characters who are these three main women. As you can also see on the cover, we see three different faces. Now, Laura is a young woman in her early 20s and Miriam is a middle-aged woman and Carla is a old woman and she is the one whose nephew, Daniel, is the one who's murdered. Now, all these three women had very tragic past and the entire book is all about them and how whatever that happened in their past has changed them completely and made them who they are today. Now, obviously, I'll not tell you anything about their past because that's very important and you should go and read the book to actually know what exactly happened. So now I'll be sharing my honest thoughts about A Slow Fire Burning and I'll start with the writing style. And I have to say that this book is very easy to read and you can literally go through the entire thing in like a single sitting. But the writing style is completely different from The Girl on the Train and Into the Water. And you will feel really confused while reading this book because you will have this thing in your head that is it really written by Paula Hawkins because of how different it is. And the beginning of this book is very, very slow. So I had pacing issues throughout this book because I am not a big fan of slow beginnings. So it was a little difficult for me to get through. So we also have a book about the book thing going on with this particular story. So basically, we have a story in a story. So whenever you will read the chapters about that particular story, you will feel that all those chapters are so vague and you can literally get no information from them because those chapters will only make sense when you know about the past of the characters that are there in this story. So I am personally not a big fan of how that thing was handled and I personally just did not enjoy that. Now apart from that, I also want to say that the way the characters go in their past and think about all their past incident is also not done in a very good way because it was very difficult for me to follow whether we are in like past or in the present because of how confusing it was. Now, apart from this, in most of the murder mysteries, we have this one character. It can either be the detective or the main character who are really interested in knowing who was the murderer and how the murder actually happened. But in this book, it was not like that. This book is mainly focused on the characters and their past. So basically, it's more of a character driven story than a plot driven one. So overall, I'll say that it was a pretty average murder mystery book. So I ended up giving it three stars. But I have to say that I absolutely love Paula Hawkins and I know that she is a great writer and she can write way better books than this. So I will definitely say that this is not her best work. But because I'm a fan, I will keep on reading whatever that she's going to write. And do I recommend this book to you or not? I will say that it depends on you, but I will personally not recommend it. Or I will say that if you really want to read this book, just go into it with a little less expectations. Please don't go it with the expectations of the girl on the train because you'll end up being disappointed just like me. So that's it. That's my review. And if you find it helpful, please click on the like button and share it with all your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.